Today's a special edition. The best batsman I've seen in international cricket is coming up on Hogs Vlog. Let's find out who they are right now. Well, I've got 12 batsmen for you, but I'm gonna break them into three different categories. So there's four in each category. Today's batsman, uh, the batsman through my era, and the batsman before I started playing international cricket. Now, today's era, Birrit Kohli. Best technique, dominates all three formats of the game, averaging in uh, 50 in each format. You can't get better than that. Leads from the front. Number two is Kane Williamson. I think he's got a perfect technique. He keeps it simple and he gets his team out of uh, tough situations. If you rely or need someone reliable in pressure situations, he's the man to call. Test cricket, we've got Steve Smith. Everyone talks about his technique, but I think it's a perfect technique. He gets across to off stump, he makes the bowlers bowl wider of that off stump, and if they want to bowl to him, he's got that head still where he can work the ball off the stumps easily on the leg side. No one has found an answer to Steve Smith. Coming in at number four is Rohit Sharma. Best white form ball, uh, cricketer I have seen. Great stroke maker and good entertainment value. But Rohit, keep your ears closed right now. Fans, we've got to get him to start performing in test cricket outside of India. A lot of people are missing the best of this talent around the world. But anyway, Rohit Sharma comes in out four. Now, through my era, Sachin Tendulkar, he was able to dent the bowling, but also a good stroke maker and pierce the field. Coming in at number two through my era was Brian Lara. Just the way that he, would able to, uh, he was able to dominate international bowling all around the world and carry that West Indian team through tough periods and score the mountain of runs without too much assistance from the other end just shows his pure class. Coming in at three is Verinda Sawag. Best opener I've probably ever seen. Just attacking from ball one, putting the pressure on the opposition and he was a handy addition for India through that period uh, 10 years ago. And coming in at number four is Ricky Ponting, the Australian captain through my period. The thing I like about Ricky Ponting, he was good in all conditions, but when I was playing for West Australia, he was playing for Tasmania. I had a front row seat out points, watching him play the West Australian quicks with ease. I have not seen a batsman play the hook shot better than Ricky Ponting. Best shot in the book. Now, before I started playing international cricket, Vivian Richards just the way that he chewed the gum. He didn't wear the helmet, he had the cap against the quickest bowlers the world has ever seen, and he took the pull shot on. He was just awesome, and he is one player of yesteryear that is missed in today's game. He would have dominated all three formats. Coming in at number two uh, before I played is Desmond Haynes, the opening batsman for the West Indies back then. He was just graceful. He played with ease, but very much like uh, Vivian Richards, he took the bowling on, and I love that. Now, coming in our third is an Englishman. Surprise, surprise, I've actually put an Englishman in there, but it was David Gower. Absolute royalty. Beautiful left-hander, elegant on the eye, someone that you'd turn the TV on to watch at an instant. And coming in at number four, I've got to put one of my favorite West Australians in here, Kimberly Hughes. What an absolute batsman to watch against spin. And there's a shot that I'll always remember from Kim Hughes. Best shot I've ever seen. It was a back foot drive where both feet were off the ground and he pierced it through the cover region uh, out the whacker and it went like a bullet out of a gate. Uh, I mean, a bull out of a gate. Get my little words right there, Hog. Come on, get those sayings right. But they are the 12 batsmen that have caught my eye throughout my life on this planet. What about you send through yours? Let's have a little bit of a discussion about it on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe on this little button here. But if you want to have a look at past videos, get into this box here. All right, thanks for joining me on Hogs Vlog and have a great day.